This has not been an easy ride the last couple of months. Is Elon Musk's bumpy tenure as chief twit nearly done? His fate now in your hands, or so he says. Musk posted a poll today asking Twitter users if he should continue as CEO. Thanks for joining us here on Crown 4 News at 8. I'm Noelle Bello. And I'm Dan Thorne. The poll capping off a tumultuous week at Twitter, from Friday's journalist suspensions to partial reinstatements, and then Saturday's ban of yet another journalist. Earlier today, the company saying anyone who posts links to any any other social media platforms will also be suspended. Cron 4's Amanda Harry has been following this. She joins us live in studio with the very latest. Amanda. Musk's poll on whether he should step down has been up for less than five hours and now has more than 10 million votes. Right now, more people are voting for Elon to step down, but that margin has been getting smaller over the last couple of hours. Sunday, Elon Musk tweeted out, going forward, there will be a vote for major policy changes. Then minutes later, he put up a poll asking if he should step down as head of Twitter, promising to abide by the results. Him putting this up in some ways is his acknowledgement that, okay, I get it. A lot of you guys don't like me. <laughs> Maybe you all want me to leave. But Ian Schur, editor at large at CNET News, says regardless of what happens, there are still a lot of questions. What is the vision for the future of Twitter? Right, because that's been the question that's been at the central issue for this company ever since Elon Musk announced that he was going to take over. This comes days after Musk began suspending some journalists for what he claimed was doxing. Musk's critics say he's simply banning people who disagree with him. The suspensions contradicting Musk's own narrative of supporting free speech on what has become the most important social media site in the world for news and information. Powerful people in the world, right? Politicians, news media, uh, entertainers, sports stars, all of those types of people are on Twitter. Presidential policy has literally happened on Twitter. That's why Schur says we need to take what's happening seriously. Earlier Sunday, protesters painted the term oligarchy outside the Twitter headquarters. The media company also announced new rules preventing people from promoting other social media accounts on Twitter. In some ways, him trying to staunch bleeding, right? It felt like, okay, a lot of the influential people on Twitter have been posting that they're leaving. As time continues to tick down on Musk's poll, Schur says it may not make much of a difference. He's still going to own the company, right? Whoever he ends up hiring, he can hire Mr. Rogers. He's still going to be the guy in charge. And so the key question I think we're going to have to ask is, we've seen he does not handle dissent very well. Are we going to get another Elon-type character? Are we going to find someone who pushes back against him the poll is set to close at 3.20 a.m. Pacific time. We'll have to wait to see what happens after that. Dan, Noel. Amanda, just out a couple of hours ago, Snoop Dogg did weigh in on all of this drama, asking the Twitterverse if maybe he should be in charge instead. The overwhelming majority of people saying yes at this hour. New at 8 o'clock, a person